Welcome Mavericks, today I have big plans, big plans. That was a lie, this is rather unscripted today, I'm not completely sure about what I'm going to do, but don't worry, I'm not going to sit there and let you watch me go over what I'm thinking. I will of course skip ahead if I have no idea of what I'm doing or saying, kind of like now. But what I am going to do first of all is build a rubber tree farm, which strangely enough, I don't believe I ever did in my last season. Which, yes, is rather strange for me to say the least. Now what I'm just building here will end up later on being a teleportation room. Basically in the back of every room I'm thinking, no, in the back of every floor, we'll have this room that you can teleport to any other floor in the building later on. Of course I don't have the resources to actually build any of these teleporters or the teleport guns from Portal or anything like that just yet, so right now it's just going to be a staircase, but later on it will be much more vast. The other option, of course, would be to have a room in the middle, but that could be rather intrusive to say the least. Unless I made some kind of drop down segment where you drop down and then there's a room. That could work. Maybe three high between each thing, but that would take up a lot of space in my building and I wouldn't be able to get as many floors. That could eventually become a problem. Hmm. No, I think I will stick to this plan. So this will just be a staircase for now, which will be rather boring, hopefully not to watch, but ah no! I mean, boring in that it doesn't really use any modded items except for the fact that this marble is a mod, I suppose, from Red Power. I always get asked the question, where is, where'd you get the emerald and such, which is rather strange. Okay, anyway, I'll build some of this and get back to you. Well, this is going quite well. I'm a little bit worried about how dark it... Oh, no. Stay away. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. See, I'm digging the staircase downwards because I'm thinking... I know, it's a shock. I don't do this often. But I believe, I believe I might put the rubber tree farm actually underneath my house, mainly because I can't be bothered building another layer upwards, although there is a way up here now. Although it is rather annoying to jump your way up. There is this level. I would probably like to have my rubber tree farm down below me. No real reason why, I just think it would be rather cool. Okay, it's night time. It's night time. I'm gone. Stay away. I still haven't set up my bed? Really? Huh. Ah, what is this? I was trying to... No! Get... Why did I build stairs? Just let them straight into my house. Ah, I didn't think that through. Okay, as I was saying, I'll just grab this bed out like so. And like you've seen plenty of YouTubers do plenty of times before, I'll just make the night disappear. But yeah, seriously, I might want to think about actually making some doors, just to keep things out. I'm not the biggest fan of dying in my sleep. It would be really nice to have a filler about now. In fact, I am really considering making one as soon as possible. That might actually be my next aim straight after I actually have this farm and my mine up and running. If I do have enough time in this episode to get both of those and a filler built, it's what I'll probably do. What in the world was I thinking? Why would it be easier to dig through the dirt just to set up your tree farm? It doesn't make any sense. I have to set down a marble floor. I guess I can leave the walls off, but it's still a massive project. I have to, I have to landscape and smooth everything over. But then again, it would be cool to have that tree farm at ground level. That would be pretty cool. Ah, uh, it's tempting. It's tempting. If only the builder didn't explode. If I still had that, I'd be able to make the floor easy. But ah, uh, by hand. I don't want to do it. No, no, that's it. I can't do this. I tried, I tried. The rubber tree farm is going on the roof. I can put a regular tree farm down there with some forestry and some cool stuff going on. But yeah, there's, I, I can't do it. I cannot bring myself to make that tree farm right there. It is going on the roof. Although luckily doing all that Digging actually has given me the grass I need to get the tree farm up and running, so it isn't all bad. Hey, is that? That is cool. 
That better not be a sign of taint, though. That would be annoying. Because I know that is a tainted log or tainted tree or... Anyway, it's something to do with Thormcraft. Ah, so much thinking when it comes into designing a house. Do I put it as part of the floor? But then it would look really weird from the bottom level of my house having grass on the ceiling. Ah! But then I waste space. Ah, what's one layer? Anvil made it twice as high anyway. Now those who've watched my previous series would probably know that I like to be as efficient as I can in making sure that all the leaves around the trees don't overlap each other. That way I can get the most amount of saplings back and that way I can keep expanding my farm as I head along. That's why I'm actually going to spread these out rather far compared to normal. Eventually I'll just have the trees right next to each other or maybe just one block over. Actually, yeah, I'll probably just have lines. No, that doesn't work, because there's four sides on a tree. I'll have them spaced, just one space between them. But right now, when I only have four saplings, it's a bit too risky to do that. I can't believe I'm already planning tree farms, when if you look at the map, all there is is a massive forest and a swamp, which would be full of rubber trees anyway. So it really is rather redundant now that I think about it. Ah, better close the door. And by close the door, I mean make a fort. And I'll sleep for the night. Now this is where Somnia really would have came in handy. By sleeping for the night, most of these trees would have grown, but unfortunately I still don't have that reinstalled, even even though you guys have requested that I have brought it back when I asked you whether I should or not. Honestly, I've been a little bit lazy is probably my only excuse right now. But it doesn't mean that I can't do something else while they grow. There's an entire jungle to jungle. Ah, I keep on forgetting the names. As an entire swamp to chop down after all. Let's just open up my alchemy bag here. I just realized I should probably be repairing my tools. I wonder if the wrench will also repair or not. If I just switch it around so they should repair in order. Wow, even the wrench actually repairs. Awesome. This talisman of repair is even more amazing than I thought. I'm thinking I better cook some food before I start starving to death. I am coming quite a little bit close to that being a reality. So let's just... No, I like that wood. Ah, dang it. I always try and get rid of this wood. It's just... Ugh, it's ugly. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head off to that swamp so I better bring my tree tap along. I'm only going to need one. Well, two. Two. Just so I can have one in my alchemy bag always getting repaired and I can just keep switching them over whenever they're damaged. And once I have some food in fact, what I'll do, I'll let the rest cook while I'm gone. But instead of having to wait around, I might as well just save some time. And whoa, 44. Okay. Ah, right, that was because the lapis that was still in there. <laughs> Turning lapis to pork chop. Ah! I forgot I didn't have a stair there. Anyway, I'm going to head off to that swamp and see if I can't find some extra rubber trees while my own rubber trees are actually growing. And there's one already. Nice little bit of sap on the very first tree. I definitely approve here. Only one. Suddenly I'm disappointed. Now that in the distance is more like it. More rubber trees there, more over there as well. This is quite a nice swamp. Well, I even see more in the other direction. Well, it really seemed like the drop rate for saplings have increased, because if you check my inventory, 23 saplings already. In fact, I think I'm just going to head back now. I don't even really mind about the wasted leaves in the air. I'm just going to head home, which is in what direction again? This way, I believe. Uh, where is it on the map? Let me see. There we go. Finally back on the map. And on my screen as well. Hello there, cow. What a wonderful day to die. Die, cow. Die, 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 die. die. Did I get its... No, oh, I didn't get its leather. Disappointing. I was hoping to get some cheap, easy armor and such, but I'll have to settle for its meat. Oh my god, how close were you when I was going up the stairs? Terrifying. You know how tempting it is to just go across that river and just try and get that first chest? It had so much good stuff in it last time. It just makes it so tempting. Anyway, I'm going to head up to the top of my house and... Touch up my tree time, tree, tree farm a little bit more. Although it is a little bit dangerous, I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh, cool. Tree grew. 
Also, when I was chopping all of these down, I noticed that a lot of the trees were just two blocks too high to actually reach from the bottom. So I'm going to be thinking up a design that should work. Basically, I'll have the dirt block here, or whatever block I like, stick a glowstone block on top, and then pile up one more block of dirt or marble, whatever I'm going to use, on top of that. That'll give me two blocks of extra height, and I should be able to use the tree tap on any part of the tree. So that is the plan. Or I could just use that glowstone block and jump, because the tree tap doesn't actually have to be held down. A couple things I probably should state. Yes, I know I should put torches next to everything. I just don't have any in my inventory right now. Wait, do I? No, I don't. And all of this is essentially temporary. I mean, I'll be using forestry later on to automatically get the sapling. No, the... not the... Ah, the sticky resin, that's it, out of the trees automatically. So we'll have some forestry farms up here, probably. Ah, four or so. Instead of me having to do it manually at all. Although it is a farm at the moment, it isn't exactly automatic in the slightest. And it certainly will be once I'm ready to get that underway. That will be- whoa, that was close. That will be fine for now. I might just kill you, just in case you drop a brain. That would be nice. Come on, you're not- <laughs> I can kill you through the window. Silly zombie. Ah, I'll just take the experience. Okay, sleep until daytime and then what I'll start building now, once I get some torches up there, is a freefall mine. Now all I really need to do to actually build this is two buckets. I've got one already. I believe I left the other one behind because I didn't think I'd need it so soon. And I'm also going to need to fill this up with water, because I need an infinite resource once I actually do get down there. I'm also going to need some signs. Rather simple. Uh, let me see here. One more bucket. Okay. I'm going to need some signs to actually hold the water up, so when I fall through it I slow down, but I don't actually have to drown in it, basically. So, I'm also... So I'll just grab what I need to make that. And I'll also just grab a few charcoal, so I can make some torches to finish up the very basic farm that I have going on upstairs. Now, how exactly do I build a sign? I haven't done this in- that's a pickaxe. I haven't done this in so long. That's the sign? Ah, uh, yes, wonderful. Okay. I'm probably going to need at least four. Hopefully I have enough planks. Yes, okay, wonderful. They all take up one space in your inventory? Dear, okay. Let's just get rid of everything and I can begin building that. Alright, I finished up putting those torches, didn't really think you wanted to watch that. Now, what I'll simply do is put it just- Ah, what are you doing? I don't know. Hello? Hello? I see you. There was two of you- oh, great, you're both there. Nope, no! Haha! <laughs> Stone sword to the face. Come on, die to die quickly. Ah, ah, okay. It's all good. It's all good. No reason to panic, viewers. <laughs> no reason to panic. Ah. As I was saying, I'll build it off the back of this teleportation room. So I can choose to either teleport, or from any of these rooms I can walk out the back and head down my freefall mine. I like the sound of that. So let's see. I'll build it out here. Just move over just a couple more blocks. Oh, go away, tree. You are in the way. There we go. This will be far enough. Simple two by two. Doesn't need to be anything more fancy than that. There we are. So, it just has enough space to go past the staircase without any kind of problem. And then it will go straight down from here. I better just build a few more tools because they'll undoubtedly be waiting on them to repair. They won't break, of course, unless I forget completely that I'm using them. Okay, one more iron shovel and that should do the trick. Not many modded items today, really. Haven't really got the resources to make any. It would be nice to have a mining drill, but since I have an item that repairs everything anyway, an invincible item doesn't really have too much of a benefit now, does it? Now, of course, I'll put some of my items in here. One shovel, one pickaxe and then get to work. Right, I should probably plan a way up first. I don't really want to be trapped in a mine, so I might want to just bring some ladders along for the ride. 
All right, I have finished, but it is night time. Not looking forward to that all too much. I did also find some ores, of course. That's why I've got some cave to the side here. Now I'm just going to dig up a little. Although last time I was pretty lucky. I mean, I was digging under the lava caves usually, but that's not usually something you want to aim for. I should probably aim for the correct y-axis for once. So let's see here. Lovely red graph down at the bottom. So right now I'm at about 10. It says 9.62. I have heard this is the best for diamonds, but I would like to avoid lava lakes completely if possible. So I will head up to 14 and see how that goes. There we are. 13.6. That should be 14. Let there be light. And light was... Now let's just put on those signs, so I can actually slow my descent. Let me see here. Oh no, the signs don't matter, they just need to be blank. This should do the trick. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Ah, there we go. Oh wow, I only needed one bucket. Wonderful. Now if I just use these ladders, will it let me do it? Apparently not. Will this let me? There we go. I wonder if one thing of water actually is enough to save you. I certainly hope so. And now it's a limitless pool. Okay. Now let's just ladder my way back up to the top. Which direction? I'm thinking back towards the house on the right hand side. Okay, I feel like Wallace and Grummet right here, putting down train tracks as I actually go along. Might want to put some light in here just in case. Don't want to be murdered on the way up. And... what the... blazes? Okay. Let's just replace this with some cobblestone. Ah, ah, nope. Okay. Close call. Suddenly creepy noises. Wonderful. Might want to put some lights there as well. Oh no, that's just a one by one. That'll be fine. Ah, where am I? Okay. So here we have a freefall mine that should work. Maybe. I'm not confident about this design in the slightest. Oh no. Stay away. Stay away, come on, don't see me, don't see me. Oh dear. Come on. Ah, ah. Don't see me. Climb, 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 climb. Climb, climb, climb. That was the wrong side. How did I mess that up? Oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can just jump up the... Jump, jump away from... No. Get away. Destroy the block. No, oh, the spider anyway, not like that's really going to help. But anyway, time to test out the freefall mine, I think. Only one way to test it out. Whoa, what the? Okay, come on, work. Huzzah! <laughs> no damage. Worked perfectly. Apart from me putting ladders on the wrong side. I might fix that at some time. But not right now. Also, I certainly won't be using ladders forever. I'll definitely be doing something else much, much faster. Probably some kind of ah, rail system. I know that ah, Railcraft, I believe, has rail elevators, which should be rather interesting. And completely different, seeing as I have never used them before. Let me just see. Ele oh yes, it actually is. That would be it, wouldn't it? Yeah, rail elevator. Never tried it. But if it works in the way it sounds it works, that would be very cool to be able to ride a cart <laughs> right up the wall. I did just check out my stock of replies, uh, stock of supplies, and realize that I do actually have enough to make the filler. Because all I really need is eight gold bars, and I have plenty of them. Eight iron ingots, I am running a bit short, but I've got the eight. Eight cobblestone. Eight sticks as well. And that's it. They don't actually require diamonds. It's just like a builder, but without the diamond gears. So in fact, if I check my other chests, I've got the two dandelion yellows. 
I also have the ink sack. And now all I need is the land plot, which is right here. Okay. So if I head over to my crafting table, I can just go ahead and make this straight away. Well, not straight away. I do have to make the gears and such. Wooden gears. Stone gears. Iron gears. Dang it. Ah, come on. And golden gears. Shocking, I know. Now, I forgot the chest. Wonderful. Here, chest, 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 chest. There you are. My mistake. Just drop the golden gears I just made on the ground. They're not valuable at all. Okay, dandelion, yellow, crafting ta- uh, Crafting table. How many times can I forget an ingredient while crafting? Okay, crafting table, chest, golden gears, dandelion yellow. What is this? I need two ink sacks, not one. Ah, this is an outrage. Final time. I have everything, I swear. Golden gears, dandelion yellow, two ink sacks, and the land plot. Wonderful. Finally have the filler. Now all I need to take with me is some steam engines. Oh, I haven't actually told you what my plan is yet. But I'm going to hole out an area underneath my house. Which is what was stopping me from making my rubber tree farm underneath it. Unfortunately, I already had the materials to make the filler. Probably also could have used... No, never mind. Okay, so I've got that. Got my steam engines. I need some coal of some sort, or some charcoal, I would settle for anything. Also need some redstone torches, okay. Now it certainly isn't as good or as useful as using a quarry, that would make this incredibly simple, but this can still do quite a good job. All I would need to do is just, okay it's a little bit complicated, if I just jump up here, oh uh, come on. Come on. Ah. Ah. Oh, dang it. I actually shot it one too high. Ah. Okay, why don't I just... Okay. <laughs> really should have just done this straight away. But that would have made sense. And I don't make sense. Not very often. Okay, now that I've got that there, I can set up the first landmark. Just like so. Then, the difference between the quarry, well, is pretty much everything, but I also have to dig downwards and set up all the different landmarks, so it does actually require some digging. You can't just set it down, and it won't just instantly do its magic. So I need to set it down to this block here. Actually, no, no, I'll go one, one level up and go to this block. Why don't I have a shovel? Where are you? You're there, one block down, and there we go. Second landmark. Now I have to run off to the other side of the building and set the third, then run up in that direction and set the final landmark. And there we go, right click it and bam, it's done. Well not done, but it's made the area, the area that I need. And unfortunately, this is actually where I'm going to end the episode, right before I actually begin building. I tried, but I have run out of time. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'm sorry I've sounded so tired. I am right about to go to bed in Minecraft and in real life. But still, I hope I was entertaining. I've got some big plans on where the series is going, but unfortunately sometimes you do just have to set things up first before you can do the really interesting stuff. So if you like this series or this video, be sure to like it and watch it to the end. Why do I, I really have to say this at the start, not at the end of the video? That would make so much more sense. Stray Mab signing off.